Today we're talking about classy, elegant colognes for men. So if you've got an occasion that really needs an elegant, classy cologne, if you're wondering what fragrances we might recommend, because we is me and Justin, who is a guest on my channel today, then keep on watching. Three, two, one, let's do it. Hi, my name is Monika Chiu and on this channel we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in fragrances, then do press that subscription button and also the notification bell. I nearly forgot what I was going to say. And today we've got a special guest on this channel, Justin from Stay Fresh Productions. I've done a video with him a while back um, and this is another collaboration that we're doing together. So I will link his channel down below and I will also link a video we did together if you want to hear more from us. But I really love his voice. His voice is amazing and also also his choice in fragrances. I do agree uh, in most of his choices and I do enjoy watching his channel about fragrances. So do be sure to check out his channel and subscribe. Um, I hope to see you there in the future. Today we're talking about three choices from me and three choices from Justin for elegant classy colognes and we have chosen them independently. I don't know what he has chosen so let me start with my pick number uno. So my pick number uno is a Royal Satisfaction from Swedoft. This is a niche fragrance house from Sweden and this fragrance I love for those elegant occasions. This has got notes listed such as patchouli saffron and also patchouli saffron and oud. But I smell in this much more. I think this fragrance is spicy. This fragrance is slightly milky and resinous to my nose and it's a beautiful cozy scent. If you want to smell elegant but you're going to an evening setting or um, you maybe live in a colder climate, this would be perfect. This has got a touch of sweetness in it. So if you're into sweeter fragrances, you might also love this. It's not too sweet. It's not over, overly sweet because I believe if you're going to an elegant occasion, then you don't want too much sweetness in a fragrance, you know? So this has got the perfect balance and it's very beautifully done. Um, you can just smell the richness of this fragrance and it's very, very spicy to my nose. I can almost like sneeze when smelling it. Um, so if you love spices, then this one would be for you. Number two is Dior Homme Parfum and this fragrance is hard to come by at the moment. They have discontinued it very sadly, but you can still get it on discount sites and you can still get it on um, duty free in the airport. Quite often I see them all the time when I used to fly. Now there was a bit of a stop to flying, but I'm sure because there was stop of uh, to all the flying, there's loads of these lying around at all the airports so do be sure to check them out and you can actually smell them then which is great but this is such a unique high quality fragrance this is formal to a T. if you want a fragrance that just screams formal uh, if you want a fragrance for a black tie event if you are wearing a bow free piece suit anything like that this is perfect this is a syrupy dense fragrance that will really project in the air. It will last you a really long amount of time. It is an iris fragrance, so it's powdery. Um, it's just, to me, it's so dense. It almost like when you spray it, it just looks like maple syrup sort of it just like stays on your skin with this coat of oil which shows how much oil this fragrance has got in it it's truly a unique scent and i think it's not for everybody but if you love formal scents if you want to have niche uh, quality on a designer budget this is definitely for you lastly number three is a fragrance from no other but a fragrance YouTuber here on YouTube and he is called Dan and he 
is the best person to come up with classy fragrances because if you ever meet him in person he's the same as uh, he is on his channel just the whole aura the thing like how he carries himself and um, the way he dresses it's a very classy he represents classy gentleman like a typical English gentleman and I think he's just one of the best people to actually come up with his own fragrance line which represents that style of being and fragrance and Gravitas Purum is his fragrance look at the bottle it's stunning I'm really impressed with his packaging first of all but this is a classic fougere and it's got some lavender cardamom it's a beautiful just the most classy cologne you can really get and um, it's not too sweet so if you are into fresher classy fragrances you'll really enjoy it you can wear it kind of on an if you are that person that likes wearing a suit on an everyday basis for example this would be something that you could consider definitely um, this just smells wonderful I just really love how this is done um, to me it just really does what it looks like it just gives you this beautifully rounded cologne that you can wear to any formal elegant classy occasion and do be sure to check out Wilson and Norton am I saying it right Norton I think I am I hope I am <laughs> Anyway, over to you, Justin, uh, for your picks. All right, hello everyone. My name is JC. I got a channel called Stay Fresh Productions where I talk about fragrances, just like you see here with Monica's channel. And Monica, thank you so much for having you. It's always really lovely to work with you and it's great that we can collaborate again. And this time we're talking about three of our favorite classy slash formal fragrances for men. Now, this is very hard. There's so many I could have chosen. I got a lot of favorites, but I went with three that are very distinct, not only in their own class, but also from each other. So you get a little bit of variety. So without too much blabbing, let's dive right in. This first one up, this is a designer fragrance, comes from a designer house, and it is unfortunately very difficult to find if you're in North America. In other parts of the world, you might have an easier time finding it. They have reformulated it. In fact, they put out a whole new version of it and others in its collection that is readily available all over Europe and elsewhere, but not so much here in the North America yet. Um, but if you can find this, I recommend it, but you gotta love a waxy cosmetic lipsticky iris from the house of Dior, Dior Homme Parfum. Now this is easily a fragrance I would only wear for a formal occasion. I cannot wear this casually. It just doesn't work. It doesn't have the vibe. It's not an easy going, happy go lucky, like spray and go kind of fragrance. It is an opulent, rich, deep, dark uh, fragrance. You get, again, like I said, lots of iris, which is at the center of this fragrance, as well as all the others in its collection. Underneath that, you have a dark and fairly brash leather note, but it is still quite elegant. You got some oud in here, which adds a nice dark woodiness to it. There is some rose. It is, again, sweet. It's rich, warm, ambery, leathery, and again, very waxy with that iris note, but definitely the most rugged of the collection, I would say. The leather is really amped up here, so it does that. If you have the Durham Intense, that's definitely more heavy on the iris and the cacao, but here, more leather. Very elegant, very strong. I only need maybe two sprays of this. And anymore, you're not gonna be so elegant anymore. It's gonna come off a little bit too forthcoming. So Dior Homme Parfum, that's my first pick. Okay, up next, this one comes from a fantastic brand. I'm not really sure what to call them, designer or niche. They're kind of designer, but at the same time, they're not mainstream. Um, they do make men's clothing and things like that and accessories, but they also have some fantastic fragrances. This comes from a brand based in Chicago and it's called Zaharoff. And we got Zaharoff Signature Pour Homme. This one has been taking the world by storm since it came out. Beautiful, interesting, unique take on the aromatic fougere genre. 
It has a whole lot of really interesting nuances here that you don't find in other fragrances in this genre. If you don't know what a fougere is, it's typically going to be fresh. It's going to have aromatic notes like maybe basil or it's going to have lavender and things like that, maybe rosemary. It's going to have a spicy quality. You might have some black pepper in there. You might have some ginger, maybe some pink pepper. There's usually some kind of green herbaceous quality to it as well. And it usually will dry down to some woods or maybe some oak moss. And there's usually a slight touch of sweet and creamy nature, maybe from some coumarin or from some tonka bean. That is the general profile of a fougere. Fougere is French for fern. And there's a whole history behind the term and behind the genre. They're trying to almost mimic the, uh, the scent of a fern, which does not technically have a scent in nature. But this is again, a totally different take on that. Adding oud in here, adding a lot of cedar wood, adding pear, which is a very upfront note, but it really just works. It's unique, but it's also very appealing, very easy to wear, and again, very elegant, super classy stuff. And this is something you can pull off classy situations day or night. Their own parfum I would generally wear only at night, but this could be a day or night scent, hence the name Signature Poron could be signature, but wear it at night, you can still kill the game. That is Zaharoff Signature Poron. And last one up, this one I've been loving. This is a no particular order, by the way, but I have been loving this fragrance ever since I was introduced to the house recently. This comes from a New York City based perfume brand. Um, their parent company is called the Perfumers Workshop, which has been around since the 70s. They made some popular fragrances uh, since then that have been on the market for a long time, but they came out with a sub company called Amarud, and they're also kind of taking the perfume world by storm. This is from their original collection from the brand, and this is called Eau de Jour. Another Oud based fragrance. It's not quite as dark as you would think by the bottle and maybe even by the name, even though it says Oud de Jour, which means Oud of the day, but it, I would wear this at night. This is a beautiful mix of cardamom, fresh, cooling, spicy cardamom with a slightly juicy plum, but it's mostly just kind of sweet, fruity, not so much juicy. And there is a little bit of oud and rose in here, maybe some saffron to add a touch of like a leathery aspect to it. It is quite subtle. You think a profile like this would be overpowering. It does last on the skin a good while. I think it is a parfum extract, but it does not scream. And I think that is such a big part of being elegant. You don't want to have your perfume or whatever it is that you're wearing be so gaudy, be so flashy that it overtakes your persona, it overtakes your presence. It becomes you. You don't become it. It becomes a part of your aura, a part of your olfactive energy that you're putting out into the room. And I love that about this fragrance, super elegant stuff and beautifully unisex. Men or women can wear this. So this is one to definitely check out. Eau de Jour. I did review a lot of the fragrances from this house on my channel, so if you can find me, you can check it out. All right, those are my picks. Monica, thank you again so much for having me. Back to you. Thanks, Justin, for sharing your picks. I know that we have a very similar uh, sense of fragrance, but I didn't know that you would pick Dior en Parfum. So for the audience, if you think of buying Dior en Parfum, this is your confirmation. We independently chose it when thinking of classy formal colognes. It's just one of those colognes that is just such a winner, such a good fragrance for the price. It's unique, it's syrupy, it's it's stunning. It's honestly stunning. I wore it on Christmas day this year and I absolutely love it. I'm not saying that it's a womanly cologne, but I just love fragrances. So I wear whatever I really, really want. I post every Monday and Thursday. Remember, if you love a fragrance, cologne, whatever, just wear it no matter what the marketing team are telling you. And do be sure to check out Justin's channel because he is such a good reviewer. I really enjoy watching his channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.